the mastermind behind the Eagles' oh, dominance geez. as of late? Well, Mike Grant, the stalwart, roaming the sidelines again and watching his team jump out to the early lead on a screen pass that busts wide open for Charlie Venable all the way down the sidelines. And the tone is officially set in this game, up 14-7 at that point. Eden Prairie gets some more separation. Who can run and do it all. He can even get open on these pass plays. Connolly will find him, and then Anthony does the rest. There's a receiving touchdown. They actually had two of them on the night unusual for EP. Individual effort here by Anthony Anderson. Watch this. Refuses to be denied. Eden Prairie does it again. They win the 6A state championship 28 to 7. These numbers are like you've never seen. 4A title game, Hutchinson against Holy Angels. Robbie Grimsley carried the ball three times for 225 yards to open the game. Wow. 75 yards to carry and three touchdowns. 92 yarders here, a front ball record. He's a junior. The Gophers are looking at him because you can't teach speed. You can teach tough, though. Punt returned by Tory Adams here. This breaks loose. And yeah, Tigers roaring for a 49 to 7, the final count. It is really tough. He's the other part of the running attack. He scored the next four touchdowns for the Tigers. The punt return and three on the ground. He's an all-stater. He went over 100 yards in closing out his storied career. Hutchinson goes unbeaten for the second straight season. 49-7, the final over Holy Angels. Well, it's a good feeling. Get that back-to-back -back championships. But for us juniors, we got to get our goals to three next year. But for now, we're just going to live in the moment and cherish this one. Two in a row, 26 in a row. Uh, now it's time to relax a little <laughs> bit. Uh, and, the, you know, you're, you're glad that it's over, but that doesn't outweigh the joy of winning it. Max, Andy, you have earned it. In the Class 2A finale today, Chatfield against Minnesota Lincoln. Jacob Neese in from a couple yards out the scoring. Few and far between in this one. Neese on the fake. Nate Scare takes it in on the bootleg. And it is the Chatfield 17-7 final score today to take the... Uh, two-man final and then as it always does with a nine-man title game grand metal gets underwood and grand metal looks well rested for a morning game trenton blythe as he's the quarterback at it again first quarter touchdown and it's seven nothing they never look back little imagination here blythe on the pitch back to blake olson in the second quarter 36 yard touchdown pass grand medal over underwood 28 to 6. in 5a midway through the first quarter Otanis aaron peterson gets in from three yards out the huskies take a seven nothing lead they double that lead early in the second it's peterson again from a yard out 183 yards on the day they scored 10 more late to win at 24 to nothing. The final class 3A 2020 game at the half. New London Spicer takes the lead late in the third quarter on a 37-yard touchdown pass from Ryan Brock to Adam Esler. Esler had 318 all-purpose yards and four touchdowns. But St. Croix Lutheran answers back early in the fourth. David Ponath to Caleb Olson, 28 yards for the go-ahead touchdown. The fifth lead change of the game and the last one. A prep bowl record for points. St. Cloud Lutheran wins a th thriller, 48-44. Remember, they won just three to nothing last week in the semis. Class A, Manoman going for a second straight title against Austin Boyd. Manoman with the first 18 points of the game and never looked back. Six of those coming on this 36-yard run from Bob Bjorge. Tom Pavick had a pretty nice day, too. Always does. 61-yard run here. He had three touchdowns at 262 combined yards, running, receiving, and passing. Manoman. Boy, they got tradition there. Repeats his Class A champs, 46-13.